What if you need to restart? One of the good things about Auto Upgrade is that it can automatically flash back the database for you, even after a successful database upgrade. So if you have a test environment where you might want to repeat the same upgrade over and over and over, you can just use Auto Upgrade to flash back the database. Also, if you copied the data files before a plugin operation, you can also use Auto Upgrade to revert the plugin operation. On the command line, you start Auto Upgrade and you specify the restore option to do it. If you revert or restore the database in any other way than using Auto Upgrade, you have to tell Auto Upgrade what you did. Now, Auto Upgrade keeps track of what you are doing, what has happened to the database. So if you, behind the scenes, restore a database, for instance, using Arman, Auto Upgrade will get very confused because now all of a sudden the database has been restored, but Auto Upgrade didn't do it. So to proceed from here, you have to clear the recovery data that Auto Upgrade stores on disk. You can clear recovery data just for one specific job, for one specific database. That's the little hammer. You can also use a bigger hammer to clear rec all recovery data for all the databases, for all the jobs that are stored in your configuration file. And if you want to use the really big hammer, the sledgehammer, you can remove the directories, the auto upgrade directories from disk entirely, which will clear out the recovery data that auto upgrade stores. You should only do that if the first two options doesn't work. And you'd need to do it by clearing the auto upgrade uh, lock directory and the lock directory that is specific for the upgrade. For your reference, I have included a link here to this blog post, which has a little more details about what happens when you clear the recovery data.